Are you wondering what's the hardest part of the bar exam that no one talks about? You might be thinking it's the massive amount of information that you have to memorize, or maybe the time crunch, or maybe even just difficulty of the law itself. And while you're right, those things make the bar really hard. There's one thing that we consistently hear from students that makes the bar exam particularly challenging, and that's just getting out of your own head. Hi, my name's Grace Bowden and I'm with Brainscape. I'm also a lawyer who took the bar not too long ago. And if you're like me or any of my friends, you're probably feeling a mix of dread, anxiety, exhaustion, or sheer panic. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about why specifically the bar exam is challenging and give you some strategies to make it a little easier. So here is difficult part number one, just the sheer volume of law, right? Studying for the bar is like drinking out of a fire hydrant. The MBE alone tests 330 topics. And when you add in essay questions, you could be talking about thousands of little rules of law that you need to be familiar with. So it's pretty overwhelming just to think about all of the information. But the reason why you shouldn't panic completely is that the bar doesn't test all of those subjects equally. So for example, on the MBE, negligence comprises half of all torts questions. And so you're definitely gonna to wanna to spend a lot of your time on negligence versus some other rules that maybe are tested with one or two questions, or maybe are seen pretty infrequently. And the nice thing about Brainscape is we've already prioritized what's tested most frequently in our MBE flashcard deck. And so you'll see cards more often that are tested more frequently. And so you're not wasting your time trying to learn material that you probably won't see or if you do, is not necessarily taking a big chunk of your points. The second thing that makes the bar exam really challenging is just the sheer time pressure. So from the moment that you graduate, probably until the moment that you walk out of the bar exam on that last day, you're gonna feel rushed. You're going to feel rushed during your study process, and you're also gonna feel rushed on the day of the exam. So there's a couple things that we recommend to lessen that feeling. It can't eliminate it entirely, to be honest with you, but there are some ways that you can make it a little bit more manageable. The first is just to make sure that you're being really efficient when you're studying. And as I mentioned before, there are some things that the MBE and some states test a little less frequently than other topics. Make sure that you're spending the bulk of your time on what you think you're going to see, as opposed to things that are tested pretty infrequently. Since you only have a finite amount of time, you really want to be the most efficient possible. And you're probably going to want a good pre-made flashcard set. For some students, they learn by writing out. But what we found is there really isn't the time to do that like there may have been in law school. And so one thing we recommend is using Brainscape's pre-made flashcards that are already tailored to topics that are tested a little bit more frequently. That way we've done all of the work for you and you really just need to focus and learn on those things. The second thing I'll recommend is just practice. And this may seem obvious, but some people don't necessarily take practice exams as they should. And it's really important to time yourself to get the feeling of what it is like to be under that time pressure so that you can mentally train yourself the day of. And at the very beginning, don't stress out if you are not making the time limits that you need. As you learn the material and become more comfortable, you'll be able to do that better. But you need to be really familiar with what that feels like and understand the type of recall that you need under those time constraints. The third thing that makes the bar exam really challenging is just the questions themselves. And, you know, people will often say to you, oh, don't worry, the bar exam is one of minimum competence, which honestly drove me crazy when I was studying for the bar because it didn't really align with my experience of the questions. And the reason is that in particular, the MBE and some of the state's essays really love to test difficult exceptions that maybe you learned in law school, maybe you didn't but they really love to have more advanced questions on the MBE. And so it didn't make sense to me why people were saying it's an exam of minimum competency because the questions didn't feel that way at all. But the way that kicks in is at the scoring phase. So you only need a minimum number correct, right? To pass the bar and become a lawyer, even though the questions themselves are really difficult. So to get around this, you know, make sure that you're practicing the questions 
make sure that you are understanding exactly how the MBE tricks you and how they test those exceptions. And just make sure that you're attacking your weaknesses. So one thing we recommend is making a flashcard deck of every single rule that you've missed. The moment you miss a question on the MBE or an essay question, make a flashcard with that rule, study it every single day up until the bar. Because the pattern that we see is people make the same mistakes over and over. And if you're unfamiliar with pieces of law or it's particularly challenging to you, you're gonna wanna make sure that you study that perhaps more than other things that you know well in order to prepare for the bar. The fourth most difficult thing is just the massive amount of unknowns, right? So although I mentioned that the NCBE publishes a list of most commonly asked or topics that are tested most frequently for the MBE, you still don't know exactly what's going to be on it. And depending on what state you're in, you may have no idea what could be tested for the essay. So you need to study every topic on the off chance that you're asked about it on the essay portion. And so this can be really anxiety producing and destabilizing if you feel how I felt. Um, and some things that you can do to address this are See if you can find any materials. I know that there's some crowdsource things out there. I would be really careful uh, about what you're banking on. Uh, make sure that you're not only studying something that someone on Reddit said, you know, California is going to test this year, right? So make sure that you're using credible information and there's some good sources out there that uh, can highlight some patterns that bar exams are using. Um, and again, make sure that you're studying most efficiently. Uh, there's a very finite amount of time, there's a lot of material, and the best thing you can do to manage this volume and this workload and the unknowns is just to use your time as wisely as you can. So this brings me to our last and I think the most difficult part of the bar exam, and that is just the mental game, right? So you've probably been putting in 10 to 12 hours for the last however many weeks studying for the bar exam, and then you're gonna sit down during the exam and it's going to feel like a disaster. I promise you, you are going to feel like you failed. I don't know a single person who took the bar exam who said they didn't fail, right? And the reason for that is, depending on what jurisdiction you're in, you can miss up to 40% of the questions on the bar and still pass. So it's going to feel like you missed a huge chunk of information. You're gonna see things you have no idea about, right? And that's okay. That is all part of the process. So you really need to learn to train your mind for bar day to not psych yourself out. It's not going to feel good. You are not gonna feel like you're rocking it. And that's just normal and that's natural. And that's just what it feels like to take the bar, right? So you really need to make sure leading up to the bar that you're sleeping, that you're eating well, that you're expecting it to not be easy and you're expecting to feel like you did poorly, but don't let fool yourself into thinking that you have done poorly and then mess up on some questions after or not have your full brain in the game for the next day, right? If you feel like you missed something, move right along. Chances are, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Doesn't matter, right? Keep moving. Make sure that you're really prepping your brain for what feels like failure, but probably isn't. So at the end of the day, yes, the bar exam can be challenging and there's a few ways that make it particularly challenging. However, it's also manageable. Thousands of students have taken the bar exam and gone on to be lawyers. Just make sure that you're being efficient, that you've got a routine, that you've built a support network, and that you're training your body and your brain to have the stamina to withstand the bar exam. I hope this has been helpful. You've got this, and it's time to rise to your challenge.